Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we have to discuss about the basics of fire extinguisher. So after the end of this lecture, you would be able to understand what is fire extinguisher. Then we have to discuss about the components of fire extinguisher. Then finally, I will show you how the fire extinguishers work. So let's start. Now the first topic which we have to discuss here is fire extinguisher. So what do you understand by fire extinguisher? So it is written that fire extinguisher is an active fire protection device used to extinguish or control a small fire often in emergency situation. Okay. Here active fire protection means what? Active fire protection uh, is a group of system that require some amount of action or motion in order to work efficiently in the event of a fire. Action may be manually operated or automatically, okay? But here we need some action. So this active fire protection device include fire alarm, uh, sprinkler system, fire extinguisher, smoke detector, fire suppression system, and hydrant, fire hydrant. These all are the active fire protection device, okay? Because if you want to operate this all device, we need some action, okay? So in simple language, you can say that fire extinguisher is a portable device designed to put out or control a small fire. Okay. This fire extinguisher are consisters of water, foams or powder, which can be carried by one person to the fire. Okay. It typically consists of a cylinder. Here you can see typically consists of a cylindrical pressure vessel containing an extinguishing agent under pressure. Okay. So they are of limited capacity, but can be used to stop a fire before it becomes large. Okay. So when you press a lever here, you can see operating lever is there. So when you press a lever of handle, what happened? The agent is expelled through a nozzle or hose to extinguish or suppress fire by removing at least one of the fire elements. As you know that for fire, we need three elements. What are that heat, oxygen and fuel? If any of them is not present, so fire will not occur. Okay, so we have to remove at least one of the fire element like heat, oxygen, fuel or the chemical reaction necessary for the combustion. Okay, so this is all about the fire extinguisher. Now the next topic is component of fire extinguisher. So here, remember, here we have a, a fire extinguisher typically consists of several key components. One by one, we have to discuss. Okay, here yeah. you can see first, this is our fire extinguisher. First, here it is called as a cylinder. Okay, so cylinder means a pressure vessel. Okay, it is made of steel containing the extinguishing agent and it is the main body of the extinguisher. Okay, remember now, see here first, here you can see the safety pin is given here. Safety pin means what? What do you understand by safety pin or temper seal you can say remember safety pin we are using to prevent accidental discharge of the extinguishing agent okay so it needs to be removed before operating the extinguisher second you can see here the hose connector is shown so hose connector is used to connect it with another hose or with a tap or a hose appliance okay it is usually made of steel, brass, stainless steel, aluminium or plastic material. Now you can see here the next component is written here siphon tube assembly. So what is the use of siphon tube assembly? So this tube assembly is used to deliver a liquid agent from a portable fire extinguisher in the event of a fire. Okay. So the assembly is compri comprised of a rubber tube, wire mesh strainer ferrule and a stainless steel lock wire next is here you can see the hose assembly is also shown so hose assembly means what so remember this hose assembly for what purpose we are using this assembly hose is the hose that allow the extinguishing agent to travel from the tank to the base of a fire and enables the user to aim the flow of the agent. So this is the main purpose of hose assembly. Next you can see here uh, the spray nozzle is shown. Okay. So what is the use of this spray nozzle here in fire extinguisher? So this fire hose nozzle 
generally used for extinguishing large fires okay they connect to a fire hose to distribute and direct pressurize water or fire retardant okay next is nozzle ho holder so this nozzle holder help to secure the extinguisher hose in place and protect the discharge nozzle when not in use okay next component here it is written operating lever so why we are using this operating lever so remember this the mechanism generally we are using this mechanism used to activate the extinguisher releasing the agent to combat the fire okay so lever is the metal piece that can be pressed or squeezed to operate the extinguisher so this is the main use of operating lever then you can see the next component here it is showing pressure gauge so pressure gauge shows the current pressure of the fire extinguisher okay after that next is uh, discharge what is written here Dix discharge head so why we are using this discharge head what is the use of discharge head in the extinguisher so remember the discharge head of a fire extinguisher is the component that includes the nozzle or outlet through which the extinguishing agent is expelled when the extinguisher is activated okay it is the end of the hose or nozzle assembly where the extinguishing agent is discharged onto the fire next is co2 cartridge so here why we are using this what what is the use of co2 cartridge here in extinguisher this co2 cartridge are commonly used in portable fire extinguisher designed for class b and class c fire okay and this cartridge store the co2 gas under pressure and act as the propellant or expellent in the extinguisher okay so when the fire extinguisher is ex activated by pressing the handle or lever it punctures or open the co2 cartridge releasing the compressed carbon dioxide into the cylinder and the expel co2 build pressure inside the cylinder forcing the extinguishing agent to what out through the discharge head or nozzle to suppress or extinguish the fire so this is the main use of co2 cartridge next here you can see uh, this next component is plastic boot so remember the plastic boot uh, in a fire extinguisher serve as a protective cover for the bottom of the extinguisher okay it helps prevent damage to the cylinder and keeps the base of the extinguisher clean so this is all about the component of fire extinguisher okay so now here we have to discuss the working of fire extinguisher so remember fire extinguisher work based on the principle of removing one or more element essential for fire heat oxygen fuel or the chemical reaction necessary for combustion okay so when a fire extinguisher is activated what happen uh, when when a fire extinguisher is activated by pressing the handle or lever it initiate a sequence of event that we have to discuss here here first what you have to use what you have to do to use the fire extinguisher first of all you have to pull out the safety pin okay so remove the safety pin or temple seal to enable the operation of the extinguisher then you have to depress the operating lever okay so press the handle or operating lever, lever to discharge the extinguishing agent okay so this action releases the agent stored under pressure within the cylinder now the next thing the proper way to use the extinguisher is to aim it directly at the fuel rather than the flame themselves okay next what we have to direct the nozzle on hose at the base of the fire so it is essential to aim at the source of the fire to effectively suppress it and then finally we have to move this stream with a sweeping motion so move the nozzle or hose from side to side sweeping across the base of the fire so this motion helps cover the entire fire area with the extinguishing agent so this is all about the basics of fire extinguisher so if this video is important for you so please do not forget to like subscribe and share this video to your friends
i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one